with me. Somebody must have broke you, nigga. You are you? Bro! Take the sex away and you'll come to realize that not many individuals have much to offer emotionally, mentally, spiritually, or soulfully. Our generation, this society is so pressed for physicality that y'all forget that mentality and personality create the bonds that form longevity. For one, I'm not paying for everybody food. You it's your birthday food, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm going to leave you. You been here with them or you coming with me? You, are you? Bro! Here's, here's the thing. Nobody wants to broke, dusty, having a yeast infection, bad hygiene, toxic, toxic masculine beta, toxic feminist, no feminine ha having bitch. Nobody wants a broke, dusty, lazy, self-entitled, delusional bitch, and you, <clears throat> and you hang with friends who will have to goddamn go. Why are you calling him a broke, nin a broke nigga? But you can't even. But but let me ask you. Let me ask you this, Heffa. Are you gonna pay for your eighteen girlfriends who invited themselves? Why do you think it's okay to pull shit like this? Why do you ladies? No, no. Why do you bitches? Why do you females think it's fucking okay to go into an establishment and then you got the other scenario, which is one and the same? Invite yourself to a, an establishment and you expect somebody to pay your bills. But I thought, I thought women were grown. I thought you were grown. I thought you were strong and independent. How are you going to call him a broke nigga? So basically because he didn't um, be a simp, basically because he didn't give you a handout, let me say this. I'm going to keep saying this. If she was dating Brad, bottom shelf Brad, Dusty broke Trail Park Chad. She wouldn't pull that bullshit. First of all, she'll tell her girlfriend, "You're gonna have to come out of pocket." She'll actually wouldn't say she wouldn't. But it's because I've seen this because you never you ever seen these all these melanated females with these Caucasian males, um, these other non-black males, broken, dusty, destitute, got all types of issues, but they will work two free jobs to take care of her bum ass white boyfriend, bum ass white husband who don't respect her, Asian dude. Latino. These guys don't have to do nothing. She don't demand that. You can talk about self-hatred. Yes, it is self-hatred. Because my thing is, I don't care what race of the person. I'm not going off the subject. This is, this is intertwined. It's all connected right here. I don't care what it is. You keep the same energy. When it comes to standards, when it comes to how you conduct yourself. Uh, let me say this, bitch. To you, all you women who try to scam this dude... And I'm not saying he's, he's, he's innocent. To all you heifers who thought it was okay to invite your fucking selves, where you have no damn money to pay for your own meal, no money to pay for your own transportation, because trust me, guys, women will come to your house, oh, can you pay for my gas? I'm like, bitch, you didn't, like, why, why would you show up if you have no gas money? Why would you, and, and here's the thing, if I was willing to, Come out and see you. That's why I avoid them situations. Because, like, you know, I might as well just pay for the, you know, why why, why, why would I give you gas money? I'll just put, take that same gas money, put it in my car, and go meet you. Booty clapping sounds. Suck on them toes. Mm, you can lick them feet. Eat that box. We get it on. And go on about my business and leave you in the dust. How you call him a, a, a broke nigga when you are a broke nigger bitch? You a broke, hoe-ass, Jezebel, self-hating, fake, very fake. Look at all that fake, all that weave. These tef these teffers will spend their whole paycheck, child support check, welfare check, alimony check on weave and all this fake, fake nails and shit. And then, and, I, and you know what's so fucked up about her? I bet she's messing with a bum. Pookie Ray Ray, a bum ass dude, or a, a bum ass Chad, Rico, Chen and them, these broke non black males, broken, dusty, destitute non black males, 
Why do you black heifers keep attracting them type of dudes? But my thing is, y'all don't require that from the male. From these, it's, it's, it's like when these guys are not black. Oh, she'll give them the box for free. So, and a lot of times these guys have money, but they won't spend it on no nigger bitch. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that when it comes to Pookie and Ray? But let me say this: If she was dating a Tyrone, Pookie, Ray, Ray, Jamal, you know, from you know, fresh out of prison, fresh out of jail, from the streets, you know, the street dudes, you don't have nothing. Probably, you know, probably, <laughs> you know, probably still still at his parents' house. Like her sorry asses. You got a lot of women who live there with their parents, and they don't, and they just a goddamn burden. Nobody want to talk want to talk about that because they got the government assistance, the handouts, and all that stuff. Now there are women, a few women who work their tail off, but guess what? They blow their money on bullshit. How can you work two free jobs, be in school, and still waste your money on stuff that's not tangible? But that's a whole different subject. But but here's the thing: if she was dating them street dudes. She wouldn't pull that shit. First of all, she'll tell first of all, those her homegirls would not try that. I bet you all them 18 friends of hers would be trying to screw him. And then you wonder why you got so many same females who will fuck a future, you know, a future type of Pookie Ray Ray. And all them eight all them so her and them her 18 friends will try to screw him. This guy don't have to bring no money. And guess what? Likely all of them will become pregnant or catch something. And but guess what? All black men ain't shit. But y'all, will, a lot of you females, fuck the same recycled ain't shit dudes. Y'all know he's ain't shit. All y'all know, but y'all, but his dick is good. So why should me, as a hardworking man, pay for y'all or be and court y'all when you you don't require that across the board? I am so sick and tired. Every time a man don't want to do nothing for for a female that's not his girlfriend, and I don't care if it was his. It was if if she was his girl. I also wasn't that deep like that. Because my thing is, if she was really cared about and respected him, she wouldn't pull that shit. And my thing is, that's not first of all. And, and being a girlfriend is one thing, but you're not his wife. And, that, and just because you got a marriage license, that doesn't make you a wife. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that clear. My thing is, I'm tired of you bitches calling calling him calling black men broke, but these white guys can fucking come come through. Clap your cheeks, disrespect you, pee on you, spit on you, make you sit in your own filth, vom- choke on you, choke on your own vomit. But y'all don't say you don't have that same smoke because it's, he's white. He's white is all right. Mm-hmm. A lot of you females out got a lot of nerve. Now here's the thing, dude. Stop trying to impress these hoes. Why are you trying to spend money? You you guys, let me say, when it comes to getting. Box when it comes to getting women, especially male-dating women, you don't need to have nothing. Here's the thing: I bet you if he was dating a non-black chick, that shit would never fly because she would have a no. She, I, I'm not trying to now. You could. I'm not on no coon shit. I'm not no pro swirl. I don't do. I don't promote interracial dating. I don't support black men getting passports or something. Like that. To me, it's your own personal choice as a man. Just like it's just your own personal choice to do it makes you happy. Do what brings you peace and joy, okay? It's all about what, what what works for you. I bet you Becky, Becky, Marisol, Ming Ling would treat him better than these heifers. I bet you it was Becky, Marisol, Ming Ling, they would she would never have 18 feet, eight her 18 girlfriends free load off this man's dime. First of all, she would be she would actually, first of all, she wouldn't be telling everything. That's another thing. You females be letting your girlfriends who don't have no man or they with a Dusty, they with a guy who's in the penitentiary or she the primary matriarch, she the primary breadwinner, but y'all let these females free load off that man, that hardworking man's dime. Y'all got to stop that shit. Y'all females are the, y'all the ones, first, because a man don't want to give you what you want. Just because he has it doesn't mean he has to spend it. He don't owe you anything. He don't owe them 18 bitches nothing. You get up. You, you are so fucking self entitled. My thing, if the fact that you females want him to pay, y'all the ones who are broke. You are the broke hoes. You are the broke. You are broke ass nigga bitches. You don't toxic hoe ass broke nigga bitches who ain't shit. 
You got too many of these females who think they're owed something, especially black females, because of what they went through or some type of bullshit. Get over yourself. Nobody has to pay for you, pay for you. And if you don't have the money, don't invite yourself and don't go to a restaurant and then try to scam people. You got to stop that shit. Then you wonder why black women are portrayed in a negative light. Stop saying it's white supremacy. No, you are fucking coon with no damn pride and your parents and your mama failed you.